Happy almost Halloween, ladies and gentlemen. It's not quite uh, Halloween, but you know what? Gosh dang it, we're celebrating Halloween anyway with the TAW 2024 Halloween Special. My name is Josh Ageddon, and we are kicking things off with an Extreme Rules match between former members of the Hounds of Horror, Jeff the Killer, and Jason Voorhees. These two have been at each other's throats for weeks, and, and it's continuing, okay? But apparently, we're not even gonna... Get this isn't even gonna like start in the ring. They're already brawling backstage. Jeff tried to attack him with a shovel. Oh, and Jason's got the shovel. Oh dear God! This was supposed to be our opening match, but I guess it's getting started early here. Uh, after the chaos that ensued on the first episode of FF Power, I don't think I'm ready for this. But it's Halloween, so I guess it makes sense. Oh, it's an extreme rules. Oh no! Oh! And, oh my God! Oh my God! Jason just launched Jeff the Killer through that table and then just pounced on top of him, elbow to the spine. Wow. Guys, can you at least wait to get in the ring to do this? Can we, can we get in the ring first? Oh, no, he's got a chair. It's all right to the face of Jason Voorhees, as I guess the Extreme Rules match has already begun backstage. Th these two former members of the Hounds of Horror... And did Jeff just try a Shira Uni? But uh, did not pay off, got... Countered into a power slam on that broken table that he just went flying through. This is how you start a Halloween special, I guess. Just absolute an anarchy in Bedlam backstage. Oh no, Jason's Jason's got him up for a power bomb. Oh no, not on that equipment crate. Oh, right on the crate. Oh my God, is this match even gonna start? They were they just started brawling in gorilla. But again, these two are former members of the Hounds of Horror. And Jason Voorhees cost Jeff the Killer the first blood match against Deku at Hardcore Paradise. Essentially splitting up the fact... Is Jeff just carry him? Is he just going to carry him straight to the ring? <laughs> is Jason just going to carry Jeff the Killer straight to the ring? Alright, here we go. Yes, he is! <laughs> okay! <laughs> so one way to do it, I guess, is bringing... It oh, but oh, Jeff's not going to... Jeff is not going to let that happen. And... Oh, big clothesline as these two are just brawling on the stage of the Halloween special, the Halloween arena here. This is just a brawl, ladies and gentlemen. But again, like, the Hounds of Horror has collapsed, and uh, Jeff the Killer tried to attack Deku back uh, during the Totally Awesome Tournament, but Je uh, Jason Voorhees stopped him. Man, these, these two are tr trying to settle it here tonight on the Halloween special, and now Jeff has Jason up, and he's like, you know what, I'm going to carry you to the ring. Screw you, buddy. Man, the power of Jeff the Killer here. I mean, look at the size difference, though, but uh, Jason trying to elbow his way out of it. Oh, what a clothesline. Again, the bell has not sounded yet, as these two are just fighting uh, towards the ringside area. Man, this is already insane. Uh, and again, this is an Extreme Rules match. If it ever gets started, an elbow. And, okay, all right, the bell has sounded. The bell has sounded. Alfred called for the bell. This Extreme Rules match is now underway. No no count outs and no disqualifications. The only way to win are by pinfall or submission inside the ring. And weapons are encouraged like this baseball bat. Oh, <laughs> right to the back of the head. Oh, but Jeff firing back right to the gut. And as our opening contest, this Extreme Rules match between these former allies is now underway and a right to the kidneys. Uh, Jason's going to be peeing blood in the morning if he doesn't already. I don't want to know what Jason does on his own free time. But now, oh, Jeff has a table. Uh, he's already gone flying through one. Oh, but, oh, runs into another clothesline. As soon, Jason waited for him to throw the table in the ring. Jason's a patient dude. Him and Michael Myers like to sneak up on you when you least expect it. But again, this match has officially begun. Referee Alfred already rang the bell. Oh, what is, Jay, what is Jason? Oh, he's got him up. And sidewalk slam onto the mat. I hope you guys uh, like the Halloween, uh, the Halloween arena with the, we got the pumpkin turnbuckles. They love me some pumpkin turnbuckles, but... Oh, and now... Oh, Jeff. Oh, Jeff's got him up. Oh, and a brain buster by Jeff. What a brain buster. I don't think I've ever seen Jeff do that before, but oh, big punch in the face. And oh, drop down neck breaker by Jeff the Killer. The Jeff-O-Matic. Now, going back to that table, uh, Jason might be in a little bit of trouble here. Jeff the Killer setting up that table in the middle of the ring. It's like, you put me through a table, I'm going to put you through one. But, but can he, though? But can he, though? And no way! Jeff the Killer's got him up for a power bomb, and right through the table! Wow! I'm impressed with Jeff the Killer right now. How did he get him up for that power bomb? 
Oh, oh, and right into the go to sleep. Jeff gonna look, look to end this one. Go to sleep connects right to the jaw. Is that it? Into the cover. One, two, no, not even a two. Jason just kicked out of all of that at one. Oh, but another forum. Oh, and Jeff the Killer's pissed. Jeff the Killer's pissed. He's like, you cost me in Hardcore Paradise. You stopped me from attacking Deku. And you kicked out of my finisher at one. Screw you. Diving elbow drop right to the sternum. Jeff the Killer's smart. Not, not letting that deter him. Keeping the pressure on. Going to the top rope again off the pumpkin turnbuckle. Another diving elbow right to the sternum. And Jason Voorhees in a lot of trouble here. Pecking him back up on the, the remnants of that table that he went through. Oh, he's going for a second go to sleep. He's got him up. And another GTS. That might be enough. Into the cover. One, two, and three. Jeff the Killer, just like that, puts away Jason Voorhees. Wow. I'm impressed with Jeff the Killer. I mean, this was an all-out brawl, but Jeff the Killer took advantage of... Uh, turn things around, and with two GTSs and a powerbomb to the table, Jeff the Killer puts away Jason Voorhees and has avenged his humiliating loss in that first blood match at Hardcore Paradise. Wow, and Jeff the Killer still in the Totally Awesome Tournament. Man, Jeff the Killer with a lot of momentum with that big victory to kick off the Halloween special. And now we have, here we go with the second match. Speaking of the former members of the Hounds of Horror, we have Freddy Krueger versus Woody in a submission match. The next round in the first mat, the first round of the uh, XTW Submission Championship Tournament uh, this past Saturday, we saw Plankton defeat Connor Jameson with the Chum Rack. And, of course, we are here in Orlando, Florida. It uh, looks like this match is actually going to start, like, in the ring with entrances, unlike our opening contest, that Extreme Rules match. But here comes the former TAW champion, former CIW champion, Freddy Krueger, who made his reappearance at the XTW Royal Rumble back on the first episode of XTW Unleashed. Of course, he was unsuccessful, and he was also in a triple threat match that involved um, Luigi and Brian Danielson, but he was pinned in that matchup uh, because of a sweeping DDT by Luigi. But here we go. He, ha he is now in this matchup. Uh, will he uh, move on to the next round of this submission uh, championship tournament? I don't want to know what's going to happen if he loses. Because remember, he lost to Deku uh, way back on that episode of TAW Rivals several months ago uh, via submission to his own submission hold the crossface, which led to him, uh, for the time being, I guess, quitting TAW. Uh, if, he, if he taps out to Woody here tonight, uh, hopefully he doesn't get mad and quit again. Because at that point, I'm just like, all right, then just don't come back. But here comes the former XTW Lightning Weight Champion, Woody. Last time we saw him was on the first episode of Unleashed when he defended the title against Kermit the Frog. And of course, Kermit defeated him in that matchup. Woody is no longer the Lightning Weight Champion. But he's looking to replace that championship with a different title if he wins this tournament and becomes the first ever XTW Submission Champion. And of course, the Woody's Roundup, he has made several people, especially the Green Lantern, ta ta uh, submit to that move, tap out to that move. Will he be able to do the same here in this matchup? It's essentially the Woody's Roundup versus Freddy Krueger's crossface. So who is going to get the submission in this submission matchup? Starting with a collar and elbow tie-up. A, a very sane way to start a match, as opposed to what just happened in that Extreme Rules match, but Woody wasting no time. And is already going after the legs. Smart. Again, the Woody's roundup targets the legs and the back, already trying to weaken the legs to go ahead and set up for that move. And again, going after the legs, trying to hyperextend the knee there. And again, it would be very impressive for Woody to defeat a former TAW champion on a cutter and right into a, dra a wraparound dragon sleeper. What a move by Woody. First submission attempt of the match. Oh, but Freddy able to uh, evade that with a snapmare. That was an interesting move right there by Woody. First the cutter and that beautiful transition into a dragon sleeper. But oh, snake eyes counter by uh, Freddy Krueger on Woody. And now Woody... That is one thing Woody's going to have to keep in check. I mean, uh, Freddy's going to have to... Uh, oh, drop kick by Woody. Oh, and uh, oh, another drop kick right in the back of that. That's one, something that Freddy Krueger's going to need to keep in check, his ego. He's a very cocky, brash dude. And considering how he left TAW abruptly after losing to Deku for the second time, I don't know if he has any room to be so cocky. I mean, I get it, you're former TAW World Heavyweight Champion, former CIW Champion, but still win the match, then taunt, Okay. And again, this is a submission match. The only way to win this match is via submission. Oh, nice uh, leapfrog there. Missed clothesline. Oh, there we go. Snap German suplex by the former world champion. Now Freddy Krueger. Oh, snap DDT. Freddy Krueger starting to build some momentum and more taunting, but he maintains control. 
And another DDT on Woody. Two snap DDTs. And again, this is a problem. This is a big problem for Freddy Krueger. Uh, you're going up against a guy who's very well versed in submissions. I wouldn't be taunting right now. Now drop down into a nice arm drag. Woody already started working on the legs of Freddy Krueger early on in this contest. And, oh, just a smack knocking Freddy Krueger to the ground. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Going again to the legs, trying to soften them up for the Woody's Roundup. Again, he's made several people, especially the Green Lantern, tap out to that move. I'm never going to let that go. Green Lantern's probably not very happy with my commentary right now. But you know what? Stop tapping out to Woody, and I'll consider letting it go. But now, again, going after the legs of Freddy Krueger here on Woody. And, oh, oh, tried to go. What a counter by, by Freddy Krueger. Woody tried to go for something, but uh, Freddy was able to avoid it, and Freddy just yanked the ropes into the the throat and the face. Oh, and an old nice float over into the arm, the arm, cr the cross arm breaker. Well, he's got it locked in. He's gonna make Woody tap out. Oh, Woody able to get out of that arm hook, that um, that cross arm breaker. Easy for me to say. And now again, Woody not straying away from his game plan, going right back to the legs. It's, oh, but a big forearm. Freddy Krueger gonna try to build some momentum. Double forearm. Oh, duck under, and oh, and a, a Pele kick! Nice little wrinkle into Freddy Krueger's moveset. Haven't seen him use that before. Oh, shot to the get. Oh, we've seen him use this before. Nightmare on Elm Street DDT just spiking Woody. If this were a regular match, he probably could have won it right there off the Nightmare on Elm Street DDT. Oh, tried to go for the cross face, but Woody able to block it. Again, if he would have been able to go for the cover, he probably would have won this matchup. But again, you only, the only way to win this match is via submission. And look at Woody go. Man, man, the athleticism of this toy is ridiculous. And now it's, oh, another drop kick to the face. Woody just building momentum here. And Freddy Krueger in a world of trouble. And now he's got him back up. It's, oh, just knocking him down. What a knockdown by Woody. And now going to try to drag him away from the ropes. Perhaps he's going to go for the Woody's roundup. Gonna, uh, but again, there are rope breaks in this match. But uh, Freddy trying to get back up. But again, oh, a clubbing shot. Again, knocking him down. And Woody again trying to get him away from the rope so he can go for the Woody's roundup. I would I would just go for it. Uh, but again, Freddy trying to get back up and Woody not letting him get up. And oh, just boot right to the face. Cowboy boot to the skull three times. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Woody's roundup. This is what he's been setting up for the entire match. He's got it locked in, but he might be too close to the ropes. Yeah, he's too close to the ropes. Woody immediately, I mean, Freddy Krueger immediately grabbing the ropes for the break. Oh, but a counter by Freddy Krueger. On oh, Freddy, shot to the gut. Oh no, and a DDT. Nice DDT. Not quite the Nightmare on Elm Street DDT, but still. Oh, missed a stomp. Oh, big drop kick right to the face by Woody. And now Woody, oh, going for it again, perhaps. Once again, he's got him locked, and Woody's rounded. But he, uh, oh, this time he's uh, far away, farther away from the ropes. Oh, but this time Freddy just able to quickly get out of it. Man, Freddy needed to get out of that. That could have ended disastrously. And now Freddy's perched, and oh, dropkick! Oh, just, I, I don't know if he got all of that, but he got enough to knock Woody down. Probably hurt his back on that as well. But Freddy back in the driver's seat of this matchup, and just slamming him face first on the outside. I bet that hurt. Uh, now, and Freddy Krueger again in control. He, he tried to go for the cross face once in this matchup, but Woody was able to block it. And Woody's tried to go for the Woody's roundup th uh, twice in this match, and he actually got it locked in but Freddy was able to get out of it, one via rope break, and the other time because he was just able to get out of it. And a snap suplex on the floor on the outside. But again, there are no countouts in this match. The only way to win this match is via submission. And now throwing him back into the ring, Freddy has got to go for that cross face to try to win this match or some other submission hold. Oh, here we go, here we go. But is he too close to the ropes? He's got the cross face locked in. Woody's in trouble. Oh, but Woody able to roll out of it before Freddy could get it synced in deep. And now, oh, what is Woody going to go for here? Oh, drop down and just throwing him with his legs, the leg strength of Woody. That was an impressive move. But again, oh, and a snap DDT this time by Woody. Woody's going to have to go for the Woody's roundup or some other submission hold to try to win this matchup. Again, this is to advance to the next round of the submission tournament. And, oh, Russian leg sweep taking down Freddy Krueger. I want to stomp right to the back. Is he going to go for it again? Go for it again. Oh, but this time Woody, well, oh, this time Freddy had it countered. Freddy had it countered with that nice head scissors taking down the former Lightning Weight Champion. That that might be a match-saving counter by Freddy right there. But a stomp right to the face. Oh, went for a stomp, but he missed it. And oh, a shot to the gut. And you saw how uh, Freddy was favoring his leg right there. And oh, oh, but a kick, a roundhouse kick right to the sternum. Oh, and oh, big Saito suplex by Freddy Krueger. 
He needed that to stay alive in this match. Oh, shot to the gut. Oh, here we go. Another Nightmare on Elm Street. DDT. The second Nightmare on Elm Street DDT. If this was a regular match, this would be over. But Freddy realizes he needs to go for a submission. Oh, he's got him down right in the center of the ring. He's got that cross face locked in deep. He's got it locked in. And Woody has no choice but to tap out. Freddy Krueger advances to the next round of the submission tournament. That was a very technical match. Neither competitor has anything to be ashamed of, but on this night, on, Hall on almost Halloween, Freddy Krueger wins the submission match, making Woody tap out and advances to the next round. Can he move on to the, the round after that in this tournament? Don't go anywhere. The Halloween special will be right back, ladies and gentlemen. And now I want to send a special thank you and a shout out to Baby Houdini for Halloween Remastered, the official theme for the 2024 TAW Halloween special. He's a good friend of mine and the link to his stuff will be in the description. Please go check him out, give him a listen, a download, and some likes would also be greatly appreciated. Shout out to Baby Houdini once again. Alright, up next ladies and gentlemen, we have... Perhaps the most Halloween looking match I've ever seen. <laughs> we have Kane versus Minion in a singles match. Uh, before the show, uh, me and the general managers, Calypso and Howard Stern, had a little bit of a chat with Minion. We were a little nervous because, you know, he's a demon from hell. Uh, basically, because the last couple times we saw him, uh, the last time he choke slammed the Samurai Trent to hell. And before that, he chokeslammed the Ultimate Beast to hell, even though the Ultimate Beast now works at CIW, which, I mean, Satan himself does wrestle for CIW, so maybe there's... Maybe Satan dragged the Ultimate Beast out of hell to work at CIW. I don't I don't know what, what all goes on at Colonial Impact Wrestling. I just do commentary there from time to time. Uh, by the way, their Halloween special, Hollow Halo Wrestling 2, Electric Boogaloo, get it, because it's scary. That was horrible, I apologize. Uh, that Halloween show for CIW is later on in the week. Be sure to go watch that. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and all that fun stuff to CIW. You're welcome, Sean, for the plug. Uh, and uh, <laughs> so be looking forward to that. But basically, uh, we had a talk with Minion saying, please no more choke slamming people to hell. It's bad for business. It's bad for PR. Uh, imagine, like, go to Indeed and you, if you want to apply to for a position here at XTW slash TIW. Uh, ignore the little bracket that says you may or may not get choke slammed to hell by a former boss from uh, Twisted Metal. So yeah, we, we, hopefully we, he's probably gonna ignore us. So I'm just concerned whenever Minion comes out. But yeah, Calypso is especially not happy because I mean Samurai Trent was a member of XTW before this behemoth, this demon, choke slammed him to hell. So hopefully he won't do that anymore. But again, uh, there's only so much we can do. Uh, if, I, I, we're, we're, we were all like, if we punish him too much, he might just try to choke slam one of us to hell. So, again, just minion behave, please. Also, he's wrestling Kane. They have the exact same entrance because, you know, demons from hell are uh, contractually obligated to have this entrance. It's written into their contract. I, I don't know what the deal is. But also, uh, please don't murder Kane. He is the current mayor of Knoxville, Tennessee. I don't, uh, I, I don't know when the elections. I know the election is in a is like a week from now, a week and a half from now, but I don't know about the Knoxville, Tennessee election, so don't murder the current mayor, okay? So here we go with a collar and elbow tie-up to start this matchup. Battle of the big boys from hell. And a nice go behind by Kane. And Kane alre already going for the tombstone pile drivers. Got him up. Tombstone right on those massive horns. Is that already it? Into the cover. One. Two! Oh, but Minion kicks out of that at two. Wow. I'm surprised that Kane got that. I was going for the choke slam. Oh, but Minion fighting out of that. Oh, no, no. oh that, that tombstone might have just pissed Minion off. That might have been a mistake. Oh, big boot by Minion. Yeah, Kane's in trouble. Yeah, the mayor of Knoxville, Tennessee is in a little bit of trouble and just gets launched right into the turnbuckle. And oh, big clothesline. What a haymaker of a clothesline. Oh, and now Minion's got him by the throat. Oh, and a vicious choke slam on Kane. And is is that already enough? Into the cover. One, two, three. And just like that, Minion puts away Kane with a devastating choke slam. Perhaps the horns broke the fall from the tombstone. No, no, no not again! Minion, stop! Minion, no! Min 
Damn it! Minion! Stop choke slamming people to hell! So a lot of good us talking to him before the show did. Now the mayor of Knoxville, now they need a new mayor! Knoxville, Tennessee is now in need of a new mayor. Great. Wonderful. Lovely. Thanks. But I guess we gotta move on. Our main event up next for the FF World Championship Triple Threat Match. Samora Morgan defending against Tifa Lockhart and Xena the Warrior Princess. I'm so I've I never thought witnessing another human being getting choke slammed to hell would result in me being irritated. As opposed to horrified, but I am irritated. And okay. So clearly, clearly our little come to Jesus meeting backstage before the show amounted to nothing but more than wasted time. Lovely. I can only imagine the lawsuits and the letters that we're going to receive from Tennessee as a result of that, but whatever, whatever. And, and I believe that we're in Nashville, Tennessee for this show. No, no, or, or, no or we're in Orlando, Florida. I forget. I'm stressed out. There's so much paperwork as a result of this, but... We're moving on. We're moving on with our main event for the world title. For the, I'm just so irritated. We have Samara up next. We saw her a couple days ago on the premiere episode of FF Power where she defeated Bulma in a one-on-one -on -one match on the opening contest of that show to retain the FF world title. And now she finds herself in the main event of the Halloween special in a triple threat match. Uh, because on the first episode of FF Power a couple days ago, the main event was a last woman standing match between Tifa and Xena, where the winner was supposed to become the number one contender. However, because Tifa was like, I'm going to moonsault both you and myself through every table known to man, because of that, it led to a, it led to a no contest. Both competitors uh, could not answer the referee's count of 10, so the match resulted in a draw. And the FF general manager was, uh, announced that this would now be a triple threat match. But not before uh, Samar Morgan came down to ringside and gave both competitors a tombstone pile driver. Basically saying, I'm, I'm ready for either of you. But is she ready for both of them simultaneously? We will see in our main event right now. So, uh, and of course, uh, how you know that Tifa and Xena likely are not at 100% because they had a brutal last woman standing match. I don't even know how this woman's walking. Tifa went to the top of a ladder and did a inside the ring and moonsaulted through Xena through two tables, one of which was the announce table, knocking both Xena and herself out, leading to the draw in the last woman standing match. But what a turnaround it would be for Tifa Lockhart if she were to win the FF World title in our main event here tonight in this triple threat matchup. And whoever wins this championship uh, will move on to the... Uh, the championship showdown, the two-night event coming uh, in about a month or so, where every championship in this organization will be defended. Night one is going to be FF and XTW. Night two is going to be the main roster of TAW. So, who is walking into that event as the FF world champion? We shall see. And here comes the final competitor in this triple threat match, Xena the Warrior Princess, who targeted Tifa's leg, her bad leg, during that last woman standing match, but it did not amount to, to much, because again, there were a few points where she could have lost that match outright, but Tifa was so blinded by rage that she just was not satisfied with anything other than maiming Xena the Warrior Princess, which, honestly, Tifa should have known better than that, but again, this woman cost her the UC Tifa Infantile Championship, and just look at the look of disdain from Tifa Lockhart, and she cost... Tifa to lose two years of her career almost cost her her leg so I can imagine I can understand Tifa being blinded by rage but still but uh, ladies and gentlemen this is first pinfall or submission wins this match you can only win inside the ring no count outs and no disqualifications triple threat matchup for the FF world championship can Samara Morgan retain like she did on the first episode of FF power or are we going to have a new champion by the end of this match and this is going to be very interesting. Wonder what alliances might pop up in this matchup. And here we go. Our main event is underway. FF World Title on the line, and it's already um, it's already just a melee right now. It is already broken down, and a huge back body drop, and a bulldog by the champion. Champion already moving at 100 miles per hour. Big jumping DDT on Tifa. Big jumping DDT on Xena the Warrior Princess. Samara Morgan. 
Again, I don't know how in the world anyone's going to stop Samara. But hey, she doesn't have to be pinned or submitted in this match to lose the title. So that might be the one way that Samara Morgan loses this title. And now just again, just it's just it's just an all-out assault by all three women here. And now Samara throwing Tifa to the other side of the ring. Oh, and now going to go after both competitors at the same time. And splash on both competitors. Samar Morgan is so ferocious and hard to stop. And a big boot wiping out Xena. Now going back after Tifa. And oh, big boot to Tifa. And a spr oh, springboard by Xena right on the back of Tifa Lockhart. But Samar Morgan going right back after her. Again, Samar Morgan, how in the world can anyone stop her? She's just demolished everyone ever since uh, even before she defeated She-Hulk back at Armageddon and that was the last time we ever saw She-Hulk was when she lost the TAW Femme Fatale Championship to Samara Morgan and that was before unifying the belts at Fusion oh here we go here we go double team and the unlikely double team by Tifa and Xena on the world champion Samara Morgan but it is very much out of necessity and a big head button down goes the champion oh uh, that didn't last long Bulldog by Tifa now, but Samara tried to take advantage of that. It's, oh, kitchen sink right to the gut. And now Tifa trying to get an advantage here, but Samara right back up with a punch to the gut. And big flying clothesline by the champion. Oh, we got caught, got caught. Oh, went for a thrust kick, but she missed it. Oh, got her by the throat. We've already seen one choke slam earlier. Big choke slam by Samara Morgan. Oh, but before she can go for a cover, oh, counter though, counter though. And a jawbreaker on Tifa. And Samara, oh, I thought she was going to try to go for a cover, but oh, and nip up, nip up. Oh, she nipped up right into a Tombstone Pile Driver. Xena's in trouble. Tombstone Pile Driver connects. Oh, but Tifa's up right there. Oh, and oh, and, and she was too close to the ropes. Uh, regardless, I guess Samara was trying to get this done. But oh, jumping neckbreaker from behind. Nice move by Xena. But Samara trying to end this one quickly. And now into a cover. One. Oh, but Tifa right there to break that up at the one. And now side headlock. Oh, double team on uh on Xena. Double team Russian leg sweep. Xena still got to be feeling the effects of that tombstone pile driver and the choke slam. Now Samara going right after Tifa. Oh, she's got her up, setting up perhaps for a fall away slam, fall away slam on Tifa Lockhart. Oh, but Xena's back up. Oh, what what is what is Xena going to do here? Uh, nice go behind, waist lock, and now into a big back suplex. And Tifa with a taunt. Okay, Tifa might be a little knocked a little loopy off of that. Oh, but look at this. Oh, a nice arm ringer. Um, oh, another arm ringer trying to take away the power of Samara. I go after the right arm because that's where she usually uses the choke slam. But another back suplex wearing down the champion. Are we going to see Xena's wings in this match? I haven't seen that in a while. Oh, tr uh, she tried to go for a DDT, but a counter into a face buster. Nice counter by the champion, but runs into another back suplex by Xena, the Warrior Princess. Now Xena, what's she gonna do here? Picking her back up. Oh, but Tifa not not letting her do anything. Oh, double to oh counter and a meeting of the minds. Nice counter by Samara. Oh, but a oh, counter elbow to the face and another big jumping clothesline. And now what is oh Xena trying to throw into the corner? What is Xena gonna do here? Perhaps that big jumping neck breaker that she used on Tifa. Oh, oh, oh gets countered though. Gets countered though by Samara and Samara big diving clothesline wiping out Xena. Oh, now she's got Tifa by the throat. And a big choke slam on Tifa. Will that be enough to retain? Into the cover. One, two. Oh, Tifa kicks out at two and a half. That was close. Oh, but a counter. Oh, oh tried to go for Dolphin's Fury, but Xena broke it up. Oh, counter. Oh, Inziguri to the back of the head. And now Tifa. Oh, Tifa going for it again, going for it again, going for Dolphin's Fury. And connects. Xena's down. We got a new champion, perhaps. Cover. One, two. Ah, Samara kicks out. Oh, that was... Tifa's chance to win this matchup and the championship. But a oh, oh, nice knee slam on a cover, cover. One, two, and again a kick out by Samara. Man, that was that was her opportunity right there, but was not enough. And a oh, big shoulder block. And now oh, going back after Tifa. Oh, Samara. Samara going for a tombstone pile driver on Tifa. And connects with a tombstone. Xena's down. Oh, and Samara crossing the arms. One, oh, but Xena right there to break it up. That would have been it. I 100% believe it. Man, some close near falls in this matchup. And now Tifa going for a full Nelson and just slamming Samara down. Now some punches right to the head. Who's walking out of here as the FF World Champion, ladies and gentlemen? It is anyone's ball game. Oh, counter into a big back body drop. Now what is Samara going to do now? Throwing her into the corner. Oh, counter by Tifa. Shot to the gut. 
Uh, oh, counter, counter, counter. Into a Russian leg sweep. Man, the champion trying to stay on her toes here. Now picking Tifa back up. And now just throwing her to the outside. Oh, what is this? Oh, counter, though. Counter into a snapmare. And oh, Winfrey. Oh, low bridge by Tifa. Nice low bridge. And now Tifa. Oh, look at this. And a side moonsault. Oh, but Samara moved out of the way. And Tifa lands right on her face. Ow. That was a thud. Oh, now going after Xena. Choke slam. No oh, counter into a DDT. Nice counter by Xena. And a big jumping clothesline on top of that. This is Xena's opportunity here. Tifa's on the outside after face planting on the ground after that missed moonsault. Man, Tifa need, really needs to be careful with these dangerous moonsaults. But a counter! And a man, Samara just sends Xena flying. And all, all, off that counter, going for the choke slam again, this time on the outside. And oh, a nasty thud on the floor off that choke slam. Oh no, oh no. Oh, Samara going for the announce table. Samara's pissed. Samara is pissed. Well, we went the entire show without the announce table getting exploded, so I, I might as well do it in the main event. Oh no, Xena is in serious trouble. Oh no, not a tombstone. Tombstone pile driver right through the announce table, and oh my god! Xena might be dead. Xena might be paralyzed and or dead. And some more back in the ring. Tifa back in the ring. And Balba runs right into a back body drop. Man, who can stop Samara Morgan? She just seems invincible. Like, I don't think anyone's going to be able to take this title from her. Oh, going for another choke slam. And, oh, th that might be it. Tifa might be done here. Oh, but, oh, Samara's not satisfied. She wants to put, she wants to put the period at the end of the sentence. Going for the tombstone pile driver once again. Oh, she's got her all oh, Tifa fighting back tight. Tifa reversing into her own tombstone. That might be it. Tifa into the cover, crossing the arms. Will that be enough? One, two. Ah, oh, Samara kicks out again. What does it take? Oh, oh going for a Dolphin's Fury. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She-Hulk. She-Hulk is back. She-Hulk is back in the ring. Dolphin's Fury connects on Samara, but She-Hulk going after Tifa. She's got her up in that high-angle powerbomb. Tifa had this match won, but She-Hulk... Oh, Samara's back into the cover. One, two, three. Wow. I don't even think Samara Morgan knows what just happened. I don't even think Samara knows what just happened, but She-Hulk just cost Tifa the world title. Oh, oh She-Hulk's back in the ring, and oh, that's what I was expecting. Boot right to the face. Samara Morgan is the one who ended She-Hulk's historic championship reign. We have not seen She-Hulk since Armageddon, and it is clear she wants revenge. Oh, right to the face of Samara Morgan. I, I think it is more than obvious what She-Hulk wants. She cost Tifa the match, Specifically, I think because she wants to be the one to de to dethrone Samara Morgan. And oh no! Oh not! Oh not a high angle power bomb on the steel steps! Oh no! Oh my God! High angle power bomb on the steps. Message sent. She Hulk is back, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh no! Not again! Not again! Not a second one! Oh no, Samara retains, but she doesn't look like a champion right now. Oh my god, another one. Enough, I think you made your point, She-Hulk. She-Hulk is back in the building. Samara Morgan retains, but she does not look exactly like a winner right now. What is going to happen next on the FF roster? It has been absolutely insane, but thank you guys for joining us here at the TAW Halloween Special for 2024. Like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. Happy Halloween, and I will see you guys next time. Good night, everybody.